is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Brighton and Wolves at the Amex Stadium, which ended in a 2 all draw. <sighs> for, the, for the opening stages of the first half, we, we controlled the game quite well, and and um, we even uh, we, we even took the lead 1-0 through Diego Jota. We, we didn't really, well, Brighton had um, a couple of early chances, but they didn't really... Uh, they didn't really have anything clear cut, and we could, uh, and as I say, we controlled the game quite well, and uh, and we even uh, went went in front, and we we're quite a good value for our lead. But um, probably what the turning point of the game was, uh, Diogo Jota had a chance to make it two nil. Uh, he didn't convert it, um, and then moments later, down the other end, Brighton uh, had an attack, and they scored. And that completely turned the game on its head because then moments later after that, Brighton actually flipped the game round and they uh, they made it two one. And then all of a, all of a sudden, from a winning position, uh, we found ourselves two one down and we had to work again. Luckily, Diogo Jota got his second of the game to uh, bring it level just before half time um, from a Brighton mistake. Um, but it's a it was a quite an up and down game we we started the game quite well got into a good lead um and then seemed to capitulate in in, in a matter of minutes um which, which led to us being 2-1 down uh before recovering uh just before half time we couldn't really get a foothold in the second half brighton this uh brighton started uh to get more of a foothold foothold in the game um it was kind of it, it was more of an even game in the second half we um we we didn't have uh we we didn't have many chances um but that's possibly because uh brighton uh Br brighton probably uh figures figured us out in the second half and we we didn't really get as get as much freedom um uh, as we w would have liked, so chances were limited, and we we didn't really get a clear cut opening uh, to score, and uh, as a result, the the game ended two two, and you could say it's it's, it's a, a disappointing point, uh, considering we were in a winning position, uh, and and it's you could say it's quite disappointing how how um, how quickly we capitulated. Um, but Brighton, they've 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 got it uh, a a well set up team this season. Last season, um, uh, last season they they were uh, quite disorganised and they they didn't have a uh, they didn't have a well uh, set up team. But uh, this season that they they've had much change and um, that they're much more. Uh, organized and well drilled side and um especially away from home it's you could you could say possibly it's a, it's a point well gained but considering the uh winning position we were in uh it's also uh you could say it's two points dropped as well um but i mean we we we've, we're still unbeaten in the premier league 11 games unbeaten in the premier league now um, can't really complain with that, and we, we're still in a decent position in the Premier League as well. Uh, I think we we might have Spurs uh, at the weekend, so that that's going to be that is definitely going to be a tough fixture, um, considering uh, how Jose Mourinho has got them set up now. Um, so yeah, um. We have got a Europa League game before that, though. We have got a home game against Besiktas, which should be three points. Uh, Besiktas has been very disappointing in the Europa League uh, this season. Uh, so that should be three points. Um, and hopefully, So hopefully we can uh, end off our Europa League group, st uh, group stage campaign um, uh, with a win. We're in a decent position in the Premier League still. Uh, we've got a tough game against Spurs, but we generally do uh, do well 
uh, against the top six. So hopefully we can uh, get a result on Sunday. Uh, but if you did enjoy this match review, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, and I shall see you on Friday with a review of the Besiktas game. Until then, goodbye guys.